Black race created the civilization, civilized the white folks two times. We know that black people built all these things. The Greeks, who were supposed to have been the founders of civilization because they were the first civilized white folks, but the Greeks got their civilization from the Egyptians. And the Egyptians were black people. And the Greeks passed their civilization on to the Romans. They couldn't retain it. They lost it. They had a dark age in, in, in Europe for 500 years. And then another bunch of Africans, the Moors from North Africa, moved into Spain and started civilization all over again. So instead of Europe civilizing Africa, Africa has civilized Europe two times. The white folks took the religion of ancient Egypt, of Ethiopian Egypt, ball, balled it up completely. Who that is? Crazy thing about that is, we've been going to school all these years, being taught about nothing but what Europeans did. Only nigga they talked about was Martin Luther King. And they shot him on the balcony, but he didn't die from the gunshot. He died in the hospital from being smuggled by, smuggled, smuggled by a pillow. They may say a little something about Malcolm X or Huey P or the Black Panthers. That's it. So the disconnect is real. The crazy part is this. They even trying to, and I don't know if they passed this law yet, but they trying to make it where teachers can't even speak about nothing dealing with history. Well, who the fuck going to tell our kids? We have to. But first, we have to know the true history. So you see how indoctrination works. It's, the, it's like teaching one person to teach the next, to teach the next, to teach the next, and they keep going on and on, and, and it stays there. It's stuck. That's it. So what I'm saying is this. Why do they fight so hard to lie about our history, to tell us all type of lies? And they don't just lie to black people. They will lie to white people, too. We all been lied to. And I ain't saying they lied to white people about white people, which they did, too. But they lied to white people about black people. And they lied to black people about white people. We all been lied to. We all grew up thinking Jesus was white and Christopher Columbus explored and found some shit. And Come on, bro. Now, this is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. If we don't teach our own children about our own history, how in the hell can we thrive? Or how can we get to where we're trying to go if we don't know where we come from? Meaning, we don't know who we are. And I told y'all, these people go a hundred. They'll go to above and beyond to keep Especially black folks sleep. They don't want you to know nothing about yourself. Period. But slowly but surely, the truth is coming out. And we all are seeing what it is. But why are they so adamant about lying to us about this? That's just be my biggest question. Why the hell do these people want to run and rule everything about people? What's in it for them? This shit so this this rabbit hole so deep it go way bigger than that because I want y'all to understand these people are literally taking your consciousness out of your brain, downloading it into a computer to live forever. So they're taking you out of this avatar, putting you in a different avatar, a, a, a computer or or machine, whatever have you, and you can live forever. Same thing they're doing with the metaverse. All they're doing is. Basically, what they're taking is taking things that are natural and making the unnatural natural, making the fake the new real. That's basically what they're doing. And when you create a matrix like the metaverse, where we accept that that's reality versus our real reality, which most folks don't even know what real reality is, psychosis. But once we accept the metaverse as the new real reality, then that will thrive. And in that, they can control and play God. You see what I'm saying? You see what they're trying to do? The people trying to they trying to live forever. And they want to dictate who's going to live, who's not going to live. So when you look at all this, you have to ask yourself, what's real, what's fake? You have to ask yourself, why are they doing what they're doing? Why did they lie to us about religion? Why did they stole everything? Because I told y'all, they Egyptians was doing, and we're talking back in Kemet. Okay, Kemet. 
They was using fish intestines for condoms. They've been doing eye laser surgeries. Nothing changes on the sun. They stole everything. And we all, and, and honestly, like I say, this there was the part where it was just barbaric. They didn't bathe. They didn't know how to clean themselves. They was cannibals, all type of stuff before they became civilized. This is what the Egyptians talked about when they were speaking about uh, the Ba. I think it's B-A-A, -A, Ba. It's the soul. And it was like hieroglyphic pictures of people with sinners cut out. Meaning they don't have no soul. They don't got no Ba. Anyway. It's just crazy. And, and I got to say, I'm going to say this. Let y'all go. This is why I always say. Jamaicans ought to have a Jamaican school that teaches Jamaicans so that the Jamaican children will not be detached from their original culture. Haitians, the same way. Mexicans, the same way. I would with Dominicans, the same way. Everybody, the same way. Instead of coming to America and we being consolidated under one umbrella. I'm not European. You're not European. And, can, and, and they're predicting, not predicting, but they're forcing on us what's the primary way to dress, talk, act. So if you don't have on a suit, then you, you know, you're not, I guess, polit politically correct when it comes to the attire. If you don't speak proper English, you speak broken English, that means... You're an animal. So I tell people when it comes to culture, this is something that all cultures can learn from each other. All people can learn from each other. If you see somebody black with gold in their mouth, dread, that's just what we do. It's not that it's a right or wrong thing. That's just what we do. We have, we have to respect each other's culture. You know what I'm saying? When we see people walking or walking, uh, doing what they do, we if we black and we see that, we might, nah, that ain't what we do. But we have to, we all got to respect each other's culture. It's not that it's right or it's wrong. That's just what we do. We like to wear jewelry. Or we like to do a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like other cultures, you see them doing a certain thing. That don't mean it's right or wrong. It's just, that's just the shit that they do. You see these people eating snails and all the other stuff. That's just what they're accustomed to. But when you come into America, there's a primary way of doing things. And if you're not doing it that primary way, then you're an outcast, or you're a thug, or you, whatever, anyway, it is what it is, but we must take back our schools, teach our own, create our own, I'm gonna always promote that, because as long as we, under this bullshit, y'all already know what's gonna happen, and it's crazy for me to see black folks celebrating Queen Elizabeth. You clearly don't know the history of uh, the great British regime. The motherfuckers owning 25% of the land that you are on, no matter where you're at in the world. They own the whole Canada. They, 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 they stole, what, trillions of dollars from India. Yeah, the queen. Not to mention how many people was... Slave and enslaved. We talking how many? Was it forty to fifty colonies? Col um, uh, 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 countries or, or different countries? I say that different countries that they stripped of their resources. Colonizers. I told y'all what the Pope told them to do. Sign this papal bull. Go look up what a papal bull is. Gonna blow your damn mind. Sign this papal bull. And we all go out there. Whatever y'all discover, I'm giving y'all permission to take, rob, steal, kill, enslave. And this is the kicker. Uh, what word they use? Enslave and uh, teach them Christianity. Convert. That's what they said. Convert them to Christianity. They forced this on them. 
And when you tell people about their religion, they see that's the stuff they don't want to see. So if you're the type of person that don't want to know the truth, then your ignorance won't be an excuse. Huh. Facts. Anyway, man, it's all love. You know, I love y'all, man. If you made this fun the video, thank y'all for allowing me to be heard. And like I say all the time, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. And this is exactly what they're doing. Making sure that we lost. Okay? Let's get it right, people. Let's get it. Let's get it right, people. People. Give a damn. I'll let y'all in this video.